best things I've ever done. I'm not exaggerating. It is one of the best things. Here we are. This is That is kicking out flames. He's also wheeling downhill, which is impressive in itself. So hello, welcome back to I think day three uh, of our adventure here in Dubai. Uh, I'm actually out here for the best part of six weeks. So if you've been following the Dubai journey so far, uh, it's actually remarkable how much stuff we've managed to cram in in such a small space of time. But today we're leaving the SLS Hotel, which is a brand new hotel since the last time I was here. And we are gonna be transitioning into this fine piece of machinery here, which is a Rolls-Royce Cullinan black badge with a matte paint finish, no less. And then this wonderful gentleman is going to show for us into the desert where we're going to immerse you in something I have always wanted to do, which is hitting the dunes in some serious machinery. Look at this, so this is our hotel. <laughs> it is unbelievable. The rate of development in Dubai is such that I think it's one of the few cities that Google has a permanent mapping team in the city because the rate of development is such, it's always changing. Just a few weeks ago, we were on the launch and first drive of the Ghost Black Badge um, in conditions so far removed from this, I can't tell you. We were down sort of tight, twisty, wet British B roads heading into London on a uh, dark autumn evening. And now here we are in uh, 30 degree sunshine. This is where the detail of a, a Rolls Royce comes in to play. So this little symbol here, this is the signature symbol that represents a black badge product from Rolls Royce. And then in here, you would maybe expect a cup holder or a coffee holder or whatever kind of holder you would like. In the, this instance, it is a crystal decanter holder. <laughs> Look at this. And it is fully Rolls Royce branded. Look at that, it's a beautiful thing. We also have these, I mean, th that is literally a bespoke crystal glass holder. Look at that. And they've got these little feet on it that clip in place these two flutes. <laughs> so cool. But what I love is the detail of this. Look at this, that's one of the most unique and intricate carbon weaves I've ever seen. What I do quite like is the juxtaposition of luxury here. We're in a, <laughs> we're in a Cullinan black badge and we've just got, we've just got this takeaway croissant which is cool, but I've always wanted to use this for a purpose rather than just looking posh. And look at that. Speaking of posh, it also has a fancy carbon fiber inlay on the table. There you are, sir. God, that would have sucked, wouldn't it? <laughs>
gonna enjoy the view now. Dude, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Think. Man, that might be the most fun I've had on four wheels in a long this time. Is our golden <laughs> Look at this! Wow, man, this is absolutely incredible. Hundred horsepower. And it pops wheelies with four people in it. <laughs> and here we are in the middle of the desert. We're eating uh, frozen berry granola with a dash of uh, fresh fruit. It's about 28 degrees. That's called acai. 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 And by the way, he's not using the full. 1500. He's not using the full. He's not. Running the full 15. He's not even running the full 1500 horsepower. Yeah. Are you ready for the next level? I am so ready. <laughs> Dude, if that was the warm up, I'm actually a little bit scared about this, but I, I honestly can't wait. Okay, um, genuinely what I've been waiting for for a long time. <laughs> I've seen these online, never been in front of one in person, and Saeed's about to take me out. And we're gonna go and uh, hit uh, this unbelievable dune with something with ridiculous amounts of horsepower. <laughs> When you look at these guys going up there, it seems wild, it seems crazy. Just been out with Saeed, fantastic driver. Just ma You couldn't see it under my, you know, what's it called, like filter, mask? You couldn't see it, but this guy's put the biggest smile on my face that I've had in a long time. Honestly, you can hear it, just wild. Believe me, when you're approaching that, all you're seeing is just blue sky. That's all you're seeing. Amazing. Okay, so I learned something new about dune buggies is that they have a turn brake, right? Turn brake. So we have a conventional shifter here. I think it's five speed. Yes. Okay. We're connected to the twin turbocharged V8. Sounds a bit like that. 1500 horsepower. But this lever here, this is really interesting. They call it a turn brake and it will brake one of the inside wheels 
depending on which way it gets thrown and which way you're turning. So if you want a more agile turning, kind of like a tank. You like lock off one wheel, turn in that direction, and it just becomes super agile, which is how they manage to turn around so quickly. Serious bit of kit, carbon fiber, man. I, I'm, I'm coming back for more of this, just for you. It's a 7.2 liter V8, okay. LS based. And so you buy the frame and then you build the, the engine no, for it? No, they, they built the whole buggy as a whole and they give you a choice of engine packages that they work with uh -huh. or you can send them a, a custom built engine and they will install it for you. Some sand here. Did you eat some sand here? Huh? That work? So, five minutes ago, my cameraman Yorkie said, I want to drive. I want to take the buggy. Maybe just, just a little bit around here. So, we go, okay, let's go. You take the way, and we come over the hill, and we find this, this situation here. Um, Yorkie's managed to roll the buggy. He's in it five minutes. Here it is. We dragged him out now. He's on his hands and knees over there somewhere with a spike of adrenaline and um, we've estimated based on the tracks here that, uh, that there's no tracks from where they finish to where this ends is about nine meters so he's managed to clear it totally roll it miss the roof and we know that because these things here these aerials are intact and the guys here who have a lot of experience tell me that uh, conventionally when you roll these snap off Yorkie managed to clear it entirely. <laughs> so, so he's flipped the car through the air. Uh, thankfully, we're on sand, everyone's fine. Uh, but um, this is my happy day to uh, make it public across the world that my cameraman stacked a Shakes <laughs> Can Am. <laughs> okay, so the idea is um, even though there's four of us here, we probably could tip this. These guys have got the knowledge. Lots of experience of, of this sort of thing happening out here. So we're going to tow it back over with the other buggy, which we're thankful to have also. I don't know if this is going to look this good on, on screen, but through this camera right now, it looks amazing. So, hook it up. This guy. This guy. <laughs> Where are this kid Yeah, Come on. Dark guy, sorry, but skid marks ending here. Uh, here, here. You can see just here the buggy as we did the count. So, you know, <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> so, let's just say, Yorkie, um, your candidacy for my wingman on Dakar uh, is short lived, I'm afraid. <laughs> Gone through the window. <laughs> Literally out of the window. <laughs> so, what we're doing, because we don't have the. Uh, I'm going to blame this on Yorkie as well. Yorkie, yeah. during the flip, the double barrel roll. Lost effectively the towing eye. So these guys are now makeshifting one from a spanner. You're never gonna live this down, bro. <laughs> they'll drag it around. Drag it around, and then when it's on the down, and then they'll flip it. And then they'll flip again. Maybe double roll. Definitely got 
the full induction. Huh? You got the whole experience. Yeah. The full experience. Next time I say uh, to him this one name? time in Dubai. <laughs> what is his name? Yoki. Yoki, my time to flip you over. Real time. <laughs> <laughs> this class, you're okay. <laughs> this guy. Finally. Well done, bro. Thank you Thanks for the much. memories. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Are you okay? Well yeah. done. Everything clear? Yeah, we're good. That's, that's it. Just my pride. <laughs> time I'm gonna say goodbye and thank you to these guys and then we're gonna go and have a tomahawk barbecue in the desert <laughs> you Thanks, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow morning inshallah okay, okay. See you, bro. honestly fantastic I hope you one enjoyed of the, one of the best <laughs> one of the best experiences ever not so much for him but <laughs> amazing Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much, Martin. That's uh, confident. That is a great way to induct me into the situation. It's reminded me of that. You've seen that clip of Donald Trump when he's got an eagle on the desk. Yeah. yeah and it tries yeah. to go for him. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best. So you have different types of falcons with yes. different types of This is a female purposes. It's a hybrid. No, all of these birds are actually racers. These are racers. They're athletes. Wow. I mean, we have in total uh, around 70. Okay. Tomorrow we're racing two birds. Okay, these are females. They race in a different ca So each line has a different category. Okay. Female, and then the, those are the jeers, which are the males. These are the hybrids. So you have the jeer peregrines, females, and the jeer peregrines, uh, males. You have the peregrine, that's a peregrine there. And then you have, at the end, a few sacres without the hoods there. And have they all been raised in the UAE? Or? No, she's Canadian. She's from Wales. From German. Wales? <laughs> from Wales? <laughs> wow. Yeah, Scottish bones. German. Yeah, yeah. This is Scottish. No, we have a Scottish peregrine. Yeah. So, third day. I said this on the first day that I didn't think it was going to get any better. If you've been following the journey so far, every day stepped up stepped up stepped up and uh, if you've been following the full journey so far i'm hoping you're enjoying the diversity that we've been unable to during the last 12 months um share the wider lifestyle of what this incredible world of cars unlocks so here we are in the middle of the desert at a falconry farm uh at tomaholic having Honestly, some of the best slices of meat I've tried anywhere in the world. It's unbelievable. So, on that note, I'm going to absolutely nail my taste buds. And uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.